Hey everyone. Um, so where do, I, where do I begin? I have these churro cereal made by Cinnamon Toast Crunch years ago in 2007. I had a lot of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and it brings back a little bit of memories having it. I don't know if it's the greatest cereal, but I normally have, uh, you know, oatmeal crisp, mini wheats, frosted flakes, um, honey bunches of oats sometimes. Um, I'm not much of a cereal guy. You know, I like my, I like to have my over easy eggs on toast. I toast my, my bread and my Betty Crocker toaster. And then when that pops up, I put butter on it, and then I put my over easy eggs on top, and I put salt and pepper on there, and it's just, that's pretty good. So this is churro, um, and then there's another one, and I've, I've never tried, I've never tried either of these. This is French Toast Crunch with maple syrup taste. Um, so I'm not sure which one I want to try. I think I'm going to go for the churro. This is this looks really promising as well too. Made by General Mills. Ingredients are whole grain corn, sugar, golden sugar, Dijon cornmeal, corn syrup. Hi. Low noun saturated canola oil, salt, calcium, carbonate, golden syrup, color, caramel color, cinnamon. Oh, there's cinnamon here. Natural flavor includes stevia leaf extract. Okay, so. Ingredients were a little bit better than I thought, and I'm also wearing my Mary whatever. I should have got a medium. I, I've had this for like a, a, a year now. This is a large Mary whatever. You can marry whatever because I don't do Christmas, and this is a nightmare before, or night, nightmare, on, nightmare on Elm Street. And then with the churros, whole grain wheat, sugar, and our golden sugar, rice flour, high Monin saturated canola oil, cinnamon, salt. Simple cut cinnamon in it. Being French toast. So we'll just try the churro. In Spider Man Homecoming, I was just thinking back to when he was trying to get that guy for being locked out of his car. It's like, that's his car, asshole. That had me really cracked up in the theater. And he was trying to give a lady directions and help her out wherever she went, or where she went, or help her help her give her directions. And then he was on the phone with Happy Hogan and wanted to know if he could be a part of the adventures team. And it's like, what about that lady that, that bought you the churro or whatever? So there was a lady after that gave her directions, bought her bought him the churro, and there's been. Or there was, because all the movie theaters recently got closed, but you can order six churros and then have them delivered to you. So I don't know what a churro is. I'd like to have one. I think I know what it would taste like. It's like... Cinnamon freshness. That is so strange. That is, that is so strange. What does my TV say? So my PlayStation, so the, the time on my PlayStation says 2, 21 a.m. And then my, on my stove, it's like 3.30. Has the time changed again, my third time? Even the bus wouldn't even pick me up because everything's not been telling me the right answers.
They were running out some churro cereal. Spider Man gets his churro. time is changing again. I just noticed that. It's been really weird. I woke up one day. I had a bath. I w or no, I, I passed out. I woke up at midnight. And then and then my stove was like an hour behind. It was like 11. But when the time changed, I, I, cha I changed the time. So I don't know how that worked. Unless it's really... Let's see. Okay, we're going to try this out. Churro cereal. It kind of has that cinnamon toast crunch flavor to it, but it also has like like the um, mm, the honey nut Cheerio um, ap apple cinnamon flavor to it as well. I used to like that cereal, but then again, stuff like Corn pops and honey nut Cheerios could kind of make me gag. Like, honey nut Cheerios would kind of be like, ugh. Whoa. So I kind of got this one as the second option. But then. I got this one first and foremost. Thought this would be good. Could try that sometime. French toast crunch instead of cinnamon toast crunch. A lot of cinnamon on here. But Spider-Man being one of my favorite superheroes, I just found it funny or interesting. He got a churro from a lady he was helping out on the street, and I like and I like to have actually a real tr uh, churro and see how it is. I finished The Last of Us 2 um, days back, and I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I was kind of disappointed in it. It had really visceral, vicious gameplay, which was... I, 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 I like that stuff. But the story of killing Joel early on, and... Um, kind of, like, weird that he didn't tell her that, like, if... The doctors would have worked on on her. They would have killed her. And I mean, Joel was a good guy, so I'm not sure what they were doing. Sometime. I'm sure this will be good and maybe not as maybe not as pie and cinnamon. Oh jeez.
started looking for other Grinch shirts or sweaters, and they didn't have any at Walmart anymore. So hopefully, when I get my pay, my payment next next week, they'll have something or. I have to go in the dentist and try and set up an appointment, but it's very, it's very complex to go about it because, um, <clears throat> I'm someone that kind of struggles financially, um, ever since 19, so... Um, sure could find a um, way, but it's just like, stay away from people, COVID-19. Uh, I don't know. And the vaccines are out now. I think they're more like a little band-aid. They're not going to really do much to you. I'm not, I'm not taking a, a, fire, a, a vaccine, not on my arm, no, not my arm, it won't. I think, politi I think politicians should, should take this vaccine. I mean, it's so early, usually vaccines take a long time, so no. And I don't understand it. Is there people out there like, yeah, I'll, I'll sacrifice my life, I'll, I'll be a volunteer, and if it kills me, it kills me. So basically, you're doing that and signing a waiver, like, it could kill you. I wouldn't do that either. And there's Captain Crunch. I like Captain Crunch as well too. Captain Crunch is kind of similar to corn pops in a way, like a corn cornmeal breakfast or something. Yeah, this is sort of like my last few weeks on here because um, I want to move on to other things. Um, I'm eventually going to put my original content on Spotify. I've been exchanging emails with this uh, dis distributor or whatever you call it. They're called Rec Record Union. They're they're very similar, I guess, to DistroKid, I guess. Um, So they've been giving me a sort of like I've been just asking them questions and they've been giving me some information on some of these things. So the thing is, I just don't know what I'm going to be called as an artist's name. And I have nothing original on me. It's not a must to like put anything out there. Like it takes a while to come up with masterpieces or songs that people will not listen to or gravitate and they'll be like, what? Well, four or five people that listen to it. So I'd much rather be in a band and uh, I can't come up with anything. I haven't written a song in three years. But then you look at Tool and I'm not a, I'm not a really a fan of Tool to be honest, but um, some of their stuff, I mean their last album was pretty decent. It was pretty decent. It was okay. But I'm not, I'm not an active listener in Tool. I actually prefer System of a Down Tool, but both Tool and System of a Down it took them a long time. Like Tool was like thirteen years before they come up, they came up with new stuff, and then System of Down. I think it's been like what fourteen years or something. So that's a long time. So they 
They didn't have an album yet, but hopefully they have an album. It's just not down, but they only had two songs released just recently. And I always hate, I always hate seeing like on the bottom of the thing it says, on behalf of EMI, on behalf of Warner Music, on behalf of Sumerian, Sumerian Records or Hopeless Records or something. And then it, and then it says, uh, on like that the artist doesn't even own the song. So, and I find that producers are very much a preconceived notion. So I'd like to independently like, oh, I, f I, feel like, I feel like covering this song today. No one's telling me what to do, but I'll just, I'll cover the song the way I want to do it and record it on my own, put my phone on my leg as I'm playing guitar, sing in my phone, you do it your own self. As raw as is, as raw as it is. I want to be able, I want to be able to own the rights to my own songs. That's how it should happen. You don't sign a deal and then, and someone dictate how a song should be made. Whatever, if they if they want to make their own song, perform their own musical com, com, um, composition, then they should form their own band or make their own song because they can't. They can't dictate how you feel or um, how a song come out. Just like you just you feel that in that moment. Just like mm, I, I think it should be like this. Like no, I think it should be like this. Um, and what it does to you emotionally, or it's like oh no, I think it should be like that. So they can get you on Spotify. They can get you on iTunes and I don't want to ever ever be on TikTok. I just kind of see it kind of pointless. Just these quick videos that aren't funny. Um, I even said to them, "Yeah, I don't want my stuff on on TikTok. I don't want to ever ever be on TikTok. Kind of pointless. Just as much as you now is pointless." All these social, social social media things are kind of pointless, but um, yeah. And then I think there's a little eighty something, eighty some odd percentages of royalties that I'll get for my songs. And then sometimes I think to a, sometimes uh, and other ways they can increase it to about in the nineties of percentages, but. Um, I guess it depends. I may have to re record my song Lose You. Um, just as my voice has just been improved since I record it and I don't know if I have the I mean maybe I do have it on my other phone the recording but I I, I would put my stuff on SoundCloud um, and then I paid like for a few years I think I paid like a hundred like over like a hundred dollars a year to put unlimited amounts of things on SoundCloud and wasn't really any any anyone commenting or interacting with that. And if they did, they would just say, like, God, you sound awful, or whatever. Um, and then there was the, 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 mus the music slide video that I put together months back for um, doing, um, I think it was My Immortal or something, or, or, Oh no, it wasn't My Immortal, it was uh, 
bring me to life. I think it was bring me to life. And I was just with my eyes closed looking like I was resting in my chair, in my gaming chair. And someone wrote in the comments, said, uh, oh, he was, gone too, he was gone too soon. And someone said, not soon enough. You know, that, that kind of stuff kind of uh, stings a bit. You know, that's kind of unkind. I mean, it's really not okay and appropriate to say those things and make someone feel worse than they are. It's, I don't like arrogance. It's not all right. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And then after that, after that has been said and done, I'm trying to defend my honor, defend myself each day. And I say, hopefully, I, I, I hopefully tomorrow grants me my one peaceful day. I, hopefully tomorrow grants me, grants me my day of peace. Which means I don't want social media hate. I don't want people attacking me online. I just want a peaceful day that's happy. That's not a day where someone demands something of me. Be like, why? Oh, you should do this. Or the garbage is out at 6.30. Or something. Or just a reminder. Just a reminder. The garbage is out tomorrow. In recycling. And compost. Yeah. Don't forget your mask so you can't breathe. I was in Walmart for a while on on the week on a Saturday, and I had my I had a cat mask, and a lady came up to me and said, "That's scary." Most people that saw me with the mask, it was just like a cat mask with his tongue hanging out, just like most people there. They were like, "I really like your mask." Um, I wanted pup I wanted puppy ones. But they only had cat ones. And I got a few, few um, canvases at Urban Arts. I took my time there. I was trying to decide. There's like so many good deals there. One canvas I got for like $29, $30. And the other one was 16 So there's different sizes, different... Artwork. Some of them were like pop culture, music. Some of them were animals. I got one of Victoria, and the other one was as an owl. Because I'm a bit of a night owl. Uh, I think owls are pretty, uh, pretty neat, pretty neat birds. Um, very, they're very cute. But he asked me, it's just like, did you get the mask at, at TELUS? Because they're with animals and stuff. I said, no, I got it at Walmart. I mean, can't complain if you get those two masks for $8. I mean, it was like $4 each. So not bad. But then again, these masks don't really do anything to protect you or anything. They're actually dangerous and non, non effective wearing a mask. Oh, I'm wearing a mask. I'm fine. It clears your. Clears your concerns for a while, but no, not really. Um, and I don't even think with the vaccine, I don't think anyone in Canada has approved this vaccine. So probably make you oh, let, let me know if you take it. Let me know how sick you get with the vaccine. I like to try a trail, but um, I saw a guy. Um, I think his name's Morpheus ASMR or something. He has an ASMR channel. He's nice. He kind of reminds me of my uncle Arlen. 
he did a he does a thing having breakfast and talking and doing ASMR, ASMR which is nice nice and one time he was having Twinkie a Twinkie cereal I haven't found any Twinkie cereal but they had Tim Hortons Tim Bit cereal which is okay tastes kind of like Lucky Charms in a bit a little bit with the sprinkles I think the cinnamon just made me so sick. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is similar to this. I'd like to try out the French Toast Crunch sometime. See if I play a game on here or something, I don't know. Ready to just delete The Last of Us Part 2. I am, if I, someone said if I don't like it, then, you know, best not to play it. Didn't have a good time, didn't have a good time. Uh, I kind of was doing some of these render modes on it recently in the last how many hour hours it last day to make it look kind of different and have started again where it's like the the plus mode like you play it again but you have all your upgrades and all your things and play it again but yeah I don't know I, I've been playing Spyro Worms uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 was um yeah, but there's something else I could be. I'd like to kind of go and go back on Grand Theft Auto, maybe, maybe. Um, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to play, to be honest. I was looking at Miles Morales' the Spider Man game, which is like 20% shorter than the original film. I mean, game. Sorry. Um, it's basically the same city, but we just have miles in it now. So if you're looking for anything new in, in gameplay, then you will probably wouldn't be satisfied. But yeah, it's like sixty-four dollars for the game, and Last of Us Part Two was like eighty, and the game came out like five or so months ago, or how many ever months ago. So it's like, ugh. I feel like it got ripped off. It was 85 because there's a five dollar like three for three years if anything happens to it or whatever. And I'm sure nothing's gonna happen. It's a video game for crying out loud, you know. I played it for about a week. And uh Yeah, very disappointed. Ellie did not get her full revenge, yet she killed a whole bunch of other people. I mean, Joel was not a bad guy, he just didn't really t tell her the truth. I mean, he eventually did. Like, the cure or vaccine would have killed you, and she was crying, like, I don't want to see you again, blah, blah, blah. And when I played as Abby, that just threw me off. I gotta see what time it is because I don't know what time zone we're, we're in right now. If I could deal with the time. Time and date. It says 3.45, I think. Time zone. Is that using internet? I have to do this manually. Because 
I don't know what time it is. It's giving me all these different times now. I had a mind to read military analog time. So, yeah, anyway. Forty six AM. I think that's the time. Um, I don't know why it didn't change on my PlayStation. It's been really weird. Like Google Maps would remind me <laughs> to leave my place and at, over an hour after the bus arrives. So I had to delete that and even I downloaded this app called Transit. And that's been really off too. Been really off. Um, it says the bus is coming this way. So I go on the right way to get the bus over here, and then the bus is coming up this way. And then on Saturday when the bus did that, I was sprinting and running, running, running to the the other but the other bus, the other bus stop on across the street up up a ways. I said to the bus, the bus, because I was just so exhausted. Did the did the bus schedule change? No, no. What time is that? Is it six o'clock, seven o'clock? Did, did the time change again? Third time the charm? No, no. <sighs> they should do a movie where they save Halloween. And then Halloween can go on for three months. Because Christmas goes on for three months, doesn't it? It's like, f fucking forget Halloween, right? Because I was in there at Walmart nearly, nearly breaking down. I felt like I wanted to cry because there was no... There was no pumpkins there. I, couldn't, I didn't even have a pumpkin, covered pumpkin this year. So fucking forget this year, right? I still have some of my Halloween stuff out. Very little, much of what I have for Halloween stuff, so. Yeah. And I just, I hate having to explain to people why I don't do Christmas every, like, I just got groceries delivered to me the other day by the main lady here, Andrea, and she's like, um, you know, so you had flour, are you going to do some like, Christmas bacon for Christmas cookies? No. I'll probably make crepes, crepes with the flour and stuff, because i got vanilla extract, because I like to have, like, a pure vanilla ad extract. Not the artificial kind, which was a little thing of $7, so it was not too bad, because there's some other vanilla extract that's like a lot of money for vanilla, for pure vanilla. And I, I love crepes. I haven't made crepes in a long time. And I got grape concord jelly, which I was trying to find uh, Welch's grape jelly because my great one of my great grandmothers has been gone for like twelve years. She, in the morning, she used I used to stay there over on weekends, and she used to make me Welch's grape jelly on toast with chocolate milk. And my dad was like, I don't know about the chocolate milk. It was good, and. I got a strainer on the weekend and then a, another cu a, a cutting board because my other ones are wood. One of them is bamboo and there's like strips of um, bamboo and just poking out, just like just poking out. So I got a Faberware red uh, red on the sides, a cutting board. So I, I'll, I'll like to end up making her signature spaghetti which was really really nice um and I haven't had it for a while and I know how to make it um and I got a ten dollar pack of meatballs so I'd like to be able to make that she did hamburger in hers and um I think she added meatballs as well too but then she would she would fry them as well she'd fry the meatballs and I don't know how people would like it because it was like really rich and how it would taste. 
but she would do it with Campbell's tomato soup and Velveeta cheese. That was that was her thing that she would do. Um, so I'll end, I'll, I'll end up making a, a video on that. Um, see if I could free up storage somehow and do an iMovie or whatever. And yeah, I've been trying to delete some pictures and just a lot of screenshots and and junk on my photos and trying to figure out what the other is and trying to free up some storage on there so yeah just a lot of loneliness a lot of a lot of a lot of me time and yeah this year's been no different than the others it's been pretty sucky if if this thing didn't happen this year with the virus who knows I would have slept with a lot of guys this year but even then I don't I don't have sex or sleep around with them unless I'm in a relationship. So yeah, I'm not going to have any sex with anybody for a long time. Unless I'm in a committed relationship. Like, if you want me, then yeah, I'm not going to do some meaningless, dangerous hookup and explain, hey, this is what gets me off, this is, this is what I really like, this is what I really like, and then I never see that person again, and then, oh yeah, hi, this is what I really like, this is what I really, oh hi, this is what I really like, oh hi, this is what I really, this is what I really like, this is what I really like, and then, hey, are we still, are we still talking, hey, hey, are we still talking, hey, are you interested, hi, hi, hey, it's, hey. yeah, it's just like, yeah, uh, that's what it is nowadays. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just, uh, take this off, because, I've been, I've been talking on here for some time, let's see what I can play, see what time it is, because all these times are changing without me even knowing. see what time it is and see what I can get up to. Mm. Um. <laughs> I don't want to see, I don't, don't want to see the lights. Yeah, so, see, see um, a game I can hop on and live stream. There's something, something. Maybe some GTA, Grand Theft Auto. Something I can figure out. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, guys. Um, I'll talk to you sometime next time.